Hi friends and this is Abhijit from Creative Research. Today we are going to discuss how to connect Arduino Uno with internet without using any Wi-Fi shield or Ethernet shield. So we are going to connect Arduino Uno to internet via USB cable. Please subscribe to this channel and uh, give us your comments and review and share, with it, uh, share this video with your friends. So the first one is the code that is the code we are going to write then there is a blink app so we are going to connect with internet through the blink android application so you have to generate an authentication code from that app i am just showing you how i will show you how to uh, generate a blink authentication token from blink uh, application then just just paste that code over here and then uh, you are going to program this code to your arduino you know so you can uh, go to the files then examples and you can go uh, by after adding the blink library you can see over here there is a <coughs> so uh, after adding blink library to the arduino board so you can see there is a blink and then uh, you can go for boards usb and then you can select arduino serial usb okay so by selecting this this code will be come to your screen okay <coughs> so uh, to blink library should be added to the arduino library so i am just giving you the link below so you can download the blink library directly and paste that blink library to your arduino library so i'll show you how to place just go to your uh, c drive on program files in program files you can see there is a arduino folder then then in, inside your arduino folder just go to your library okay just go to library and just place this file in this uh, place in the library just place this place so this is a blink library i will just give you the link to download and paste that over here after uh, pasting this write the code and uh, use your token um, uh, authentication code you can uh, make email your token uh, authentication code and the email here is the email so in the authentication code you can email the authentication code and copy that authentication code and you can paste that authentication token over here so after placing this code you don't have to change anything over here just uh, write the code upload this uh, uh, upload this code to your arduino you know down uploading so upload is completed okay so changing the authentication code and the blink will do, do the all of other things so blink, we have to configure blink uh, android app so that we can connect the pin which pin we are going to program or which pin we are going to take the output so currently i am using the onboard led available on the arduino you know for the output uh, output of this program so now just go okay now just open your uh, blink, blink library folder and then in blink library open that and then they will find a scripts okay just open this script okay then uh, here we have to check which com port the arduino board is connected here my arduino is connected with com 17 okay then just open your scripts okay in scripts just uh, script dash file just right click and edit option in edit option we have to change this com port according to the div port your arduino is connected if the arduino is connected with 7 then just change this com port to 7 or 13 just change it to 13 so mine is connected with 17 so i just connect change the com port to 17 then just close it and just double click on this batch file then this window is open okay when this is open then you can see the connect blink cloud.com and it is connected and it is switch okay so now your device is connected with the blink online cloud library so your Arduino Uno is connected with the internet currently. So you can change, um, you can uh, now connect with the internet and from Blink application you can control different devices from your using your Arduino Uno and USB cable. Uh, hope uh, this, uh, hope you like this video and please, please, please subscribe this video channel. Thank you, thank you very much. So hi friends, uh, today we are going to program Arduino Uno and uh, using internet of things we are going to control onboard LED without using any ethernet shield and uh, any uh, wi-fi shield so by usb we are going to connect this arduino Uno with internet and we are going to control that using a blink app that is in our android mobile so this is with what are the things we require the first we required a arduino Uno board then a android mobile with blink app pre-installed on it and then yeah, a usb cable and uh, in usb cable we are going to connect this part to your pc and this part is connected with your Arduino. Let's connect it first and let's check what will come. So here we are going to connect it. And then this part is going to connect with PC. So you 
can see over here so you can see now uh, the program uh, the pc is connect uh, the adreno you know is connected with your lap, uh, pc then i am going to write the adreno uh, blink code to this uh, adreno you know uh, it takes some time to, for compiling and then it will be uploaded to the adreno you know now the program is uploaded to the adreno you know now let's configure blink app and then we are going to control the onboard led with your uh, usb internet now let's open your mobile open your blink app and then just uh, if you have already up an account with blink then just log in or create a new account with blink then create a new project okay in the project name you can type like usb okay then you have to choose the device which device you are going to use we are, we are using Arduino you know just select Arduino you know Arduino you know then click on continue then connection type you have to choose over here which type of connection we are using so I am connecting through USB so select USB ok then create a new project so new project is all created over here then uh, you have to add buttons over here so we have to add buttons like add I am to add a button over here the button is get added now configure the button so you, have, you can choose the name of the button like LED then which pin you are going to connect so I am connecting with pin number 13 means D13 that is onboard LED uh, is available at pin 13 so I am selecting digital pin 13 over here ok then click on continue and this is switch mode ok then on off is selected so after selecting everything just use this device now uh, then then you have to use your authentication code so so i am just continue then there is a authentication code of the device so you can email the authenticate tokens so email all sending of your email so to, uh, I got an email with my uh, authentication token here and then paste that authenticate code on your uh, program and write the program over here. Open the link server. So now it is connected with the internet. So you can see over here the device is currently online it is showing now just press the switch and you can see this LED that is connected with pin number 13 is on and when I press off it is going to off ok so this is on and this is going to off so my uh, device is connected with different uh, internet and my mobile is connected with my mobile data and it is connected with my home Wi-Fi. so they are two different networks and the device is controlled through internet can control it on or off so so this is how we can connect uh, making internet of things without using any Wi-Fi shield please keep subscribing to our channel uh, please give your uh, comments or reviews about this video so that we can improve and upload more uh, educational videos thank you